Hello, friends. Our Bible lesson today picks up right where we left off last week. Remember last week's story? Jesus fed a crowd of 5,000 people using only a few loaves of bread and a couple of fish. Well, after that surprising miracle, Jesus sent his disciples in boats across the sea while Jesus went off to pray alone. After he finished his prayers, Jesus went to meet his disciples. But Jesus met his disciples by, wait for it, actually walking across the water. That's right. As the disciples sailed their boat across the sea, Jesus surprisingly walked across the water and met them. Jesus and his disciples then sailed to the far shore. Once the crowd realized that Jesus and his followers had crossed the sea, they followed. And when they arrived, they had many questions for Jesus. They asked Jesus how he had gotten across the sea, but he didn't answer directly. Members of the crowd also asked Jesus how they could serve God like him. Jesus answered that the people should believe in him as God's son. I bet they wanted to learn to heal people like Jesus or teach wonderful things like Jesus. But Jesus goes on to explain to the people that God has always provided for his people in surprising ways. And now God has sent God's Son to provide for all people in a special way. After hearing this, the crowd asked Jesus what he had done that would lead them to believe in him. They even asked Jesus to do something amazing or surprising right then to make them believe in him. Well, Jesus could have said, hey, don't you remember I just fed all 5,000 of you with only a few loaves of bread and a couple of fish? And there were even leftovers. Instead, Jesus explained to the people that God has always done amazing and surprising things for them. And the most amazing and surprising thing God is now doing for them is sending his son, Jesus himself, to teach, to heal, to feed, to care for, and to love all people. The people in the crowd would come to know who Jesus is by listening to him and by seeing what he is doing in God's name. One way we can come to know that Jesus is God's son is by reading our Bibles and hearing stories like this one we have heard today. We know that Jesus is God's son, sent to love us because the Bible tells us so. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for the wonderful stories we have about Jesus in the Bible. And thank you for Jesus who shows us your love each and every day. Thank you and amen.